Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing that link as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right. Your overall energy, Scorpio, is awesome. Is the star here, Aquarius energy. So you have the Magician, the three of moons, which are cups in the stack, the strength card, and the sun. So you got Leo back to back here. Which is interesting because your overall energy is the opposite of Leo, Aquarius. So, I feel like you're manifesting a wish. Now, why you need... Oh, okay. I was just going to say, why do you need strength because you're manifesting a wish? And they're saying that you're holding yourself back. So... Maybe a part of you wants to push forward really quickly, but you're holding yourself back. You're trying to maintain, you know, see the infinity symbol, this um, balance here, right? And strength. So let's dig in and see what's here. So clarifying the star, we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Hanged Man. We have the Five of Wands. Ooh. So you're quite excited because I feel like the Knight of Wands is you. <laughs> Rushing forward. Okay, this is something that you've been waiting for. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me more. Yeah, the Queen of Moons. So you've been waiting for this and it is a love situation with the Queen of Moons here. So the Queen of Moons is creative, is intuitive is very nurturing. Tell me about the five of wands, the moon. You don't see this coming. You may have been struggling with this for a while. The wanderer, you may, you've been dreaming about this. You've been dreaming of them. Mature man. So this could be you. This could be somebody else. It's just masculine energy, male or female. So there could be um, also an age difference. But this is a surprise for you. Let's see the magician. The page of wands. Yeah, there's some sort of good news coming your way. Two of wands. Okay, and the four of wands. Wow, so you could be moving house. Somebody else could be moving house here with the two of wands. I'm hearing taking action. So somebody, there is a lot of fire here. And this is why, this is exactly why you need strength. With all this Leo energy and with all this fire over here, wow. And ear. So it's like that's fueling the fire flames here tell me about this uh, magician card toil and labor hmm so you could work with this person or maybe you met them through work yeah at work occupation all right so tell me about the three of moons so the seven of wands you could be out in the dating world this could be a reunion or you're just celebrating this so we have the seven of wands the world card in the ten of moons which is the ten of cups so this is going to make you extremely happy here why the seven of wands though this is creating a new beginning for you in love the five of moons okay so 
this could be somebody from the past and if so there's a sadness associated with it and as a result of this there is somewhat of a wall it's either you or this person there's been somewhat of a wall up because the seven of wands can be sort of blocking something from coming forward right well, let me get a kipper here Mm, yeah, so you're coming from this place of lack and I feel it's more it's not a lack of money It's a lack of love. Yeah unexpected income. That's why I wasn't feeling money but oh Following this there is going to be a lot of abundance coming towards you because This seven of wands, okay, these blockages are going to be released here and I just saw five 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 which is expect the unexpected tower moment, which is funny. I kind of got that vibe for cancer as well. Another water sign. So tell me about strength. Why does Scorpio need strength? The Knight of Swords, the Eight of Moons, because of this communication coming in and the Queen of Wands. Wow. So you could be dealing with an emperor or an empress. They're saying yes because the queen of moons and the queen of wands is here, is present. They are in their feminine energy though, male or female, right? Or will be when they communicate. I also feel you may get a heads up from spirit because that is my card of communication from spirit. So you or them need to walk away from something. So somebody's walking right into their wish fulfillment, though. It's interesting because you get the eight of cups and the nine of cups here. Don't you? What did you just show me that? Okay, because they showed me the nine of cups. Okay, so they just showed me that. I thought they showed me it because you had it, but okay. So the Eight of Cups, somebody's walking straight into their wish fulfillment here. Let's get a Kipper. Yeah, so this is a brand spanking new journey. They just said timeline. So there's a major shift happening here. And that's why I'm feeling expect the unexpected. Tell me about the sun. The eight of stars, which is the eight of pentacles. Ace of stars and the queen of swords. Holy schmole. Yeah, okay. So you're going to put a lot of work into this. You both are. This is a great opportunity that's going to bring about a lot of happiness here. There's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of truth spoken. This will be... Yeah, very abundant, very prosperous relationship here with the 26. That's an eight. That is a lot of abundance. Wow. Okay, so what is your advice, Scorpio? Ooh oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So you have, as advice, the High Priestess, the Fool card, and the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant and the High Priestess can be a match in and of themselves. I mean, that's the highest of the high. Very intuitive. They're saying, take a leap of faith. Oh, you also have the Nine of Wands. And they're wanting you to understand your wounds, okay? And before you let them down, there needs to be an understanding. Because they're going to come back up. And to the surface if you're not understanding the wounds of the past but they're wanting you to take a leap of faith they may want you to keep this to yourself for a while not telling people around you with the high priestess because that is the keeper of secrets but it also could be saying um, listen to your intuition because the hierophant is higher wisdom also a marriage card all right, so let's get advice. Oh, no, the Kipper, the Kipper. Yep, Bart, courtship. They're saying come together. 
feel that energy within because you're going to call it in even quicker to you if you do so. Okay, so let's get advice from the Oracle for Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. Pitch. <laughs> Be as clear, concise, and professional as you can be when you explain your ideas to potential associates, which is so in, in another five. So this is for those of you who are looking for something regarding work, but this also is seems to be connected with work somehow. Intertwined. Let me get one more. Play our work. See, Scorpio, work comes up all the time for you. Our work can and should take on the quality of play, for it is play that stimulates creativity. So they're wanting you to have fun. Okay. The more that you have fun, you know, with this relationship, the more that you connect with your creativity within your heart space, the, the clearer you'll be business wise. Okay, the clarity will just flow. The clarity will just come. All right, Scorpio, I hope this resonates. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing that link in the description box, Scorpio, if you are interested as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.